Today I'm in my basement with the background of my grow light setup. I had to move a lot of my seedlings to this grow light setup because I was running out of windowsill space. So that is that. There are a lot of seeds that you can start in the month of April. Today we'll go through some of the seeds that we can start indoors, some of the seeds that we can start directly outdoors and some of the seedlings that we can plant outside already, which we started few months back. So let's get right into it. Tomatoes need a long cultivation period and should ideally be started in the month of March according to the weather conditions I am in. If you have not started in March then don't worry, start it now. This is your last chance to have some tomatoes grown from seeds. I am not going to start any this month because I have sown mine in the month of March. And if you have sown it a month back like me, it is high time you pick the healthy ones and give them more space to grow. I will try to do a video on how to transplant seedlings soon. It is time to sow the members of the God family. Here I am sowing a few cucumbers and zucchinis. I actually have two varieties of zucchinis. One is the normal green one and the other one is called Patterson zucchini. This one has got an interesting shape to it. Generally the members of God and bean family does not like the roots to be disturbed. Usually for almost all the other veggies we sow a lot of seeds in a single pot and once they sprout we discard the weaker ones by pulling them off and let the healthy one remain in that pot. But when we pull off the weaker one then there is high chance that we disturb the root of the healthy one. This will not be tolerated by the members of the God family. They do not like to be transplanted therefore it is important to plant them in individual containers from the start. Here I am sowing two in each pot so that there is high chance of germination and we'll chop off the one that is weak instead of pulling them in case both of them germinates. I am also sowing a watermelon variety called the sugar baby. Two varieties of bitter gourd, a small one and a long one. This is a common Indian vegetable and the seeds are also from India. So we are done with the God family. Always sow one or two more than that you intend to keep on your space so that there is higher chance of germination. Next I am going to start some okra. Last year I got only two okras from my balcony. So I let it go to seed and collected some seeds from it. This year with more sun in my patio, I guess I'll have a better harvest. I am sowing two from the batch that I collected last year and two from the original seed packet. Now is also the time to start with the legume or the bean family. I am trying different varieties here. These are the purple beans and the yard long beans. These seeds are from India. I will be concentrating more on these varieties because we don't usually find such varieties in the supermarket here. I am also sowing some pole beans. These are the ones that I grew on my balcony last year. Same like cucumber family members, beans are also sown in individual pots because they are sensitive to pricking and transplanting. I'm sowing a few now in April and the rest will be sown directly outside next month so that there will be a continuous harvest from my balcony. Now let us get into some leafy greens. I'm sowing some Malabar spinach which need to be started indoors. They are the climbing variety and can tolerate a bit of summer heat unlike the normal spinach variety. The normal spinach seeds that you find locally here is a cool crop and they should be sown in spring or fall. In summers due to the excessive heat they tend to flower quickly and do not produce enough leafy greens. So we need to find a variety that can withstand the heat in summers. Another leafy green is lettuce. There are different varieties that we can try. I am trying the cabbage head lettuce and the normal mixed lettuce that I always grow on my balcony. The brassica family is the next in line. Last month we started a few seeds of cabbage, broccoli and kohlrabi. This month I'll start a few more of them so that there will be one month gap between the harvest. This is called succession planting. I'm also starting some winter brassicas like palm kale and brussels sprouts. I'm trying them for the first time. They need a long cultivation period and only if we start them now, we can harvest some by the fall. Now let us move to the onion family. Last month, I sowed a few onion seeds. They grew very well but later on became very leggy because I did not give them enough light to grow. So I want to start them again and move them soon outdoors. 
I'm mainly growing onions for companion planting with other veggies and not really for the harvest. I have here some red onions and spring onions. I'm starting some peas directly outdoors in containers. Beetroots can also be started directly outdoors. Cover them with a fleece to protect them from the frost or heavy rains or maybe also from the birds. We can also grow carrots, spinach, radishes directly outside like we started last month too. I'm going to fill in the gaps where they did not sprout from last month's sowing. Those are the veggies that I'm directly sowing outdoors. No vegetable garden is complete without some beautiful flowers to accompany them. I'm starting some nasturtiums which I soaked 4-5 to five hours before planting them for quicker germination. Some calendula, borage and marigold. These flowers will be kept close to my veggies as they are known to attract bees and help in pollination. And also they are all edibles. Some of the seedlings like kohlrabi, broccoli, onions, if they're big enough, can be transplanted outdoors. But I'm going to wait a bit longer because I have to set up my garden first. Some of you might know already, we just moved into this apartment and I've got to set up my garden before I transplant the seedlings. A video will be coming soon on my new garden setup, so stay tuned for that. The rest of the seedlings like tomatoes, chilies, aubergines will be transplanted only next month. So May is going to be a very busy month for us. Don't forget to harden off the seedlings when it is sunny outside for a few hours. Let me know if you need a video on how to do that. I would love to know what you have sown this month. Let me know in the comments down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next. Bye and take care.